Factoring strategy to solve trigonometric identities. This is a great technique to prove trigonometric identities. And here we have an excellent example. Cos square x minus 2 cos to the power of 4x plus cos to the power of 6x equals 2 cos square x sine to the power of 4x. Now, we'll start with the left side and I'll show you how to factor and then get the right hand side. As you can note from here, you have 2 times cos to the power of 4x. We can split it and then have combination to factor. So I'll show you how. So we'll start with the left side now. The left side is cos square x minus, instead of 2 cos to the power of 4x, I'll write this as cos 4x minus cos 4x. And then we have plus cos to the power of 6x, right? Now that is, what we're trying to do here is factor. So we'll factor these two terms and these two terms, right? And see what do we get. We can factor cos square x from them, right? That is cos square x, we get 1 minus cos square x. Minus, here we can factor cos to the power of 4x. So I'll get 1 minus cos square x. Now 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, correct? And that is also a common factor. So this can be replaced as sine square x, correct? And we can factor it. So I'm going to factor sine square x now. Plus, I do have cos square x also as a common factor in these two. So I can keep cos square x also as a factor. So we get cos square x. And what are we left with here? Just number one, right? And here we are left with cos square x. I've combined two steps here, right? I'll elaborate on that later, once again. Anyway, so we are here, cos square x times, sine square x times cos square x and 1 minus cos square x. And what is 1 minus cos square x? Again, sine square x, correct? So we can write this as sine square x times cos square x times sine square x. And see what we get. We get what we wanted, right? Cos square x and sine square x times sine square x gives us sine to the power of 4x, right? And that is the right side for us. So that is how we can prove identities by factoring. And that is an excellent technique and it should be applied so many times, right? So I have taken simple examples, but this, and I'm going to take one more where we are going to factor cubes, right? So this one was dealing with even powers. The other one will be odd powers, right? Let me go through this step once again uh, to make it absolutely clear. Well, let's review. So what we started with is cos square x minus 2 cos to the power 4x plus cos 6x. So we substituted, rather, we split cos to the power of 4x as two terms. So what we did was that we had 2 cos to the power of 4x here and we broke it down into two terms so that we get a group of 4 and then by grouping in 2's we factored. Now this step was kind of cos square x and as you know 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, right? Minus we have cos to the power of 4x and 1 minus cos square x is sine square x. Now, if you see these two terms, what are common factors? We can factor cos square x and sine square x, right? So, we factor cos square x, sine square x, which will give us 1 minus. And when you divide this by cos square x, sine square x, you get cos square x. So, that is what we got here, right? So, I just wanted to show you how we really got from this step to this, right? I hope that's absolutely clear and you understand now how to use factoring techniques to solve or prove identities. Thank you.